Hello everybody! In this video, we're going to learn how to build with various different kinds of structures. Kinds of things that you build are different depending on the materials that you use. So this video is going to get you started with some different building styles that you can make in Valheim. The first sorts of structures that you'll often see in Valheim are basic wooden structures that have a roof that almost goes to the ground. We'll call these lean-tos. As you build, and other players build, you'll probably build similar looking stuff. Maybe something like this, maybe something more grand or beautiful, maybe something more clunky and unorganized and disheveled, and plop a roof on it and you'll be good to go. There's a whole variety of different options. But these are the most basic structures. The next structure can be found in the Black Forest. And this is something people often love, because when you're building wood, if it touches a piece of stone, it's as if it's on the ground. So this may just look like a stone tower to you, but if you're a wood builder, this opens up a whole world of opportunities, because you can build much, much higher than you could just in the meadows, because of these stone structures. You may not be able to build stone yet, but there's not that much that you need to do to make these things more like a working base. They have a ground level, a medium level, and then an upper level. And this is just with a basic minimum roof. You can make these significantly larger. These structures are sort of Valheim's way of teasing the player, because you can't quite build with stone yourself yet, but in the future, you'll be able to build these stone walls. For now, you just have to build with wood. But you can Another kind of progression is with wood itself, because in the beginning, you can only make stuff out of basic wood, which is what those floorboards are, right? But then as you get into the Black Forest and you start cutting trees there and you get a bronze axe, you unlock fine wood and core wood. And the core wood allows you to build these frames. And the frames opens up a whole new possibility, because before, we could only make those little shacks. But now that we have these core wood frames, you can make two or three story buildings and these grand towers without any stone at all. The core wood is going to make it much more possible for you to make these kind of piers where you can fish or store your boats at. Unfortunately, unfortunately, Roof-wise, you'll be limited to this thatch roof in the beginning. But once you get into the plains, it's going to be a different story. As you can see, you get these really badass looking roofs. I think they're way cooler than the straw paddy roofs, and they really add this epic look, even if you're still building with wood, like this little dock. Eventually, you'll be able to make stone and extravagant gates. You'll also be able to use glass, and it looks really cool combined with the stone and the arches to make windows. The main things to keep in mind visually when making stone is that stacking the stone looks a lot cooler than placing the big walls, but it'll take up a lot more stone as a result. Making things look cool with stone is often about placing arches and clipping arches into the right place to really give it the castle look, so to speak. So using arches in different creative ways, like you can see here, this is two arches clipped into each other, makes a cool window. Whereas here, it's a doorway, and it's two arches not clipped into each other. And there's a whole bunch more that could have been done to make this trimmed out. This is just a really basic stone structure. Whoa! Oh no, you saw the truth. Similar to the stone towers from earlier, you'll also find these giant Dverger towers made of black marble, the upgraded stone, the current ultimate building resource with the most health and most resistance to all kinds of damage. And you'll be exposed to how to build to it if you pay attention to the elements in the Dverger structures. They have a really cool door. And then you can see the inside, right? Staircases. You can build everything that you see here, except for this wooden floor. This obviously There's lots of different ways that you can incorporate stone into your building in Valheim. Here's how you can sort of make it always look like a castle, and the basics of making things castle-esque. So in general, you're going to make sort of a stone wall on the outside, 
and then on the inside keep it open and fill it up with wooden stuff maybe put in a stone pillar every now and then for support to the roof when you want to give something that castle look here's three tips that i can give you first Use this alternating brick pattern with the two by one stone pieces rather than the big stone pieces. The big stone walls allow you to make a wall quickly that'll function, but it doesn't look that good. Whereas when you patch it up like this, it looks very castle-esque. And then when you use these arches to make the ramparts, oh, that really also makes it look like a proper castle. But really what it needs to have the castle silhouette is those ramparts on the top. Without them, it doesn't really feel like a castle. So those are all the three things that you can build and incorporate with stone that'll make your structures seem more castle-like. Of course, there's all sorts of different ways that you can use stone. Here we can see something very similar, but with the black marble. Unfortunately, the black marble doesn't have that stone arch piece, so I use the regular stone. I tried to incorporate the black marble arch, but I wasn't really able to make it look a way that I liked. So this is what I settled on. I really like this tiled look. That's sort of my favorite look. You can see though that this isn't how the Deverger buildings are built. They have a, a specific look to them, and you won't ever see these tiles. They'll always use the bigger pieces. And that's it for this video, everybody. I hope you enjoyed, and if you want to support my work, then consider checking out my tutorial all about purchasing your own dedicated Valheim server. It's a great way for you to play Valheim with your friends, and it'll cost between $15 and $20 per month for the whole server. This is a cost that you can split between other people, so really, it's no more expensive than a World of Warcraft subscription, and way more healthier on your way of living. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Comment below if there's anything you'd like me to make a video about.